guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Vicky, how you doing? MAC is finally launching the long-awaited line of Selena products that are dedicated to the singer who, once upon a time, was amazing. She passed away in 1995, 1995, I believe. I grew up knowing who she was and celebrating her life through her music, of course, but being a Texan myself, the movie was very near and dear to my heart and so is this launch of this little collection um this collection is like i've been waiting for it for so long and i finally have it so i'm gonna be showing you guys an inspired look it's definitely not a spot on look of course because number one i'm not mexican-american we're not the same color obviously whatever nationality or shade you are you could still wear these products you can still rock these products these are not meant for any specific type of people i did want to show you guys what the products look like on deeper skin tones on the promo page it says the vivacity of mexican-american singer selena quintanilla lives on through the passion of her fans and her impact on latin culture and beauty inspired by the devotion of all those who still touched <laughs> Still touched by the iconic Latin legend, Maxelina is a makeup collaboration tenderly curated with Selena's sister. Selena not only taught us to move, she moved us. Let's keep that rhythm alive. That's touching. So if you know me, you know I love the movie, I love the music, I love everything, everything, anything for Salinas, of course, anything for Salinas. I have five products here, but I believe there's like 10 different products that come in the collection itself. There's three lipsticks five eyeshadows, a liquid liner, mascara, blush duo, a brush, and a lip glass. September 29th is the launch of everything online and then it'll be in stores in October. I will put all of the information that you need about the launch dates and everything like that in the description box as well as as many links as I can possibly find because I know this is going to sell out really really quickly. Um, if you want to know more about this hair, I will be talking about that at the end of the video, so you can just keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. Ugh, this bump doesn't want me to be great. I look so weird with hair. Oh my goodness. This is very strange. My hair is pink right now. So I have on this wig, and this wig is from my first wig. Um, it is the Raven Bob, actually, but I cut it. One of my favorite looks from Selena was her bob look. In the early stages of her career she had a bob and I think bobs, short hair, the cutest hairstyles on everybody. Like I love short hair. Um, and I have a picture, I'm going to put it on the screen, but it's been in my phone forever. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I have the majority of my face done. I'm going to do my eyebrows and her brows are usually like really dark and really like defined at the front. So that's the look that I'm going for today. I feel like I'm having an identity crisis right now with this bob on and I don't know how to handle it. I don't have the box to show you guys because the box had real roses in it and the roses died. Um, but I am going to show you the packaging. So the packaging is really pretty. It's purple. It has her signature on it. Here we have the little card that's on the inside. It says, my husband and I are thrilled to share this Max Lena collection with you. This is very special to our family because one of my daughter's dreams came true. Thank you for helping continue the legacy. Okay, so this is Technocumbia. It is a powder blush and it says top part is a muted golden brown, which is blunt. Most people use blunt to contour slash bronzer. So that's cool that that's in there. And then Bencomigo is pink matte blush at the bottom. So I don't know if that will look great on me, but I'm going to try it out anyway. I'm going to use this contour brush to go into the blunt. I already know how blunt works on me. It's more of a contour color so I'm going to apply that in my contour area. And of course if you're a little lighter you want to go a little more light handed with this. I'm going to use this brush and this is by um, Makeup Addiction. So the blush is not really showing up really really you know pigmented on me um, but I'm assuming on people with lighter skin tones this would be a really like nice muted pink color kind of like an everyday color so it's a nice neutral color it's very neutral very very neutral there's actually five eyeshadows in the collection i only have two 
So I'm going to talk about the two that I have, obviously, because I don't have the others. Um, this one is Missing My Baby, which is a matte, light pinky, nude beige color. This one is Selena, which is a Velux pearl eyeshadow, and it is purple. So I'm just going to dust this pink eyeshadow over my eye because it looks like a nice pinkish beige color. And um, yeah, it's really neutral. It's a nice base shadow for the look that I'm going for. I'm not an eyeshadow person. You guys know this if you watch me a lot. I'm not an eyeshadow person. It's not necessarily something I would grab. Um, obviously, you're here for the lipsticks, but I wanted to show you guys how to use the eyeshadow anyway. I'm not a fan of purple eyeshadow, but it looks pretty. I will do a swatch of it, but I'm not gonna wear it for this video. In the pictures that I've seen of her with the bob, um, she does have a little bit of a brown color in the crease. So I'm gonna do that using one of my Makeup Geek shadows, I'm using Tiki Hut. Um, I'm gonna just add that to the outer crease area just to give a nice transition. You can always use the blunt color, it's a nice contour color, so you can always use that. The collection has an eyeliner and it's called Boot Black. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of Selena without, you know, liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna try not to screw this up completely. I'm gonna very carefully do this, okay? Starting out very thin, because you guys know how quickly this can go south. We want to be Selena, not Amy Winehouse. And she usually doesn't do like an upward wing. It was more like a straight wing. So I'm going to just wing it out really straight. We didn't screw up. Yay! After you do your eyeliner, you're going to want to put on mascara, obviously. I don't really see a lot of lash. I mean, people didn't really wear lashes like that back in the day. So I'm not going to put lashes on for the sake of this video. Of course, if you wanted to, you could wear lashes. So I am definitely excited to show you guys these because whenever I used to watch the movie, I would be like, what lipstick does Shawty have on? Because, I mean, she was kissing all on Chris and all this singing and had the microphone all up on her mouth and lipstick did not budge. Here we have two lipsticks. I have Como La Flor, which is my favorite song by Selena, and Dreaming of You, which is one of my other favorite songs. It makes me cry. I can't listen to it. So I have Dreaming of You and Como La Flor. They both have the purple packaging. So I'm going to show you guys these two. This is Como La Flor. It is the signature red lipstick. It is an amplified, so it is going to have a little bit of shine to it, but it's going to be very, 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 very pigmented because amplified lipsticks are really pigmented. And I'm not going to wear a lip liner for the sake of the video, um, but of course, if you wanted to make this last a lot longer um, and have longevity so you can kiss your man and stuff, um, you would definitely want to wear a lip liner with it. So this is Como La Flor. This is a really bright red. It's very creamy and pigmented like a mother. If you're going to get this, you would nef definitely need to wear a lip liner with it because it is going to transfer. I already know it is. I'm going to put on my hoops so I can get the full effect. Como La Flor. This is a matte lipstick and this is a deeper red. Um, this one, as you can tell by my smiles, is going to be the one for me. So this is Dreaming of You. Dreaming of You is a little darker. I love this one, especially for the fall. Deep reds are definitely more of my speed. So, the verdict. Do I think these products are worth buying? Of course I think these products are worth buying. They're more like nostalgic kind of items. They're more like collector's items. If you are, you know, a fan, then I would say definitely go for it. Grab everything, grab whatever you can. I would say the lipsticks are my favorite, but really excited about this collection. Like the Texas in me is really proud of this. So this is the Raven Bob. Obviously it's not laid. My hair is pink underneath so I can't like blend my hair and I didn't have time to like um, pluck the hair in the, the hairline and make the hairline look as natural as possible. I don't know how to do that. There are plenty of videos on that though. 
course, you would want to make it look as natural as possible. This is not a full lace wig. This is a lace front wig, which means basically that the lace is only in the front and not all the way throughout the back of the wig. It's still pretty full. Like you can't see the tracks or anything like that. And it looks really good. It's this is the silky and not the yakky texture. It's not more shiny though, which is what I like. I like that it's not super, super shiny, but not only does this wig come in the lace front version, I believe all of their wigs come in the lace front version now, including my wig, which is the Victoria Bob. Um, so if you guys want a cheaper alternative I believe it's like a hundred dollars cheaper also update on my wig now instead of them just shipping out wigs that you haven't seen yet they will give you the option to um, see pictures of it before they ship it out so that you're not getting something that you don't want I hope that you guys uh, enjoy this video if you did give me a thumbs up that's it bye I got on my boosty caca but it's not really a bustier it's actually just like a bra top because I don't have any boosty cacas so what do I do? What do you do?